Hi, it's David Ask the Electrician, and today we're going to look at how to wire a range circuit, a range outlet, and the range cord. Okay, we're going to be looking at the 50 amp circuit. For the newer homes, it's a 120, 240 volt circuit that has four wires total. For the older homes, it's a 50 amp, 240 volt circuit that has three wires total. With these two different types of circuits, we see that one circuit for the range itself has a four wire cord, and the cord for the older ranges has a three wire cord. We'll show you how to hook those up. And of course, before we do any electrical wiring, we always identify the circuit at the main panel, turn it off, and mark it with a note to show that something is being wired, some work is being done on the circuit. To help you identify the circuit in the newer homes with a newer electrical panel, your circuit breaker panel will look something like this. The circuit breaker in the newer electrical panels will be a circuit breaker that looks like this. It's a two-pull 50 amp circuit breaker. Should be marked with the words range. So if you are an electrician and you're looking at the wiring for the range circuit, you'll be looking at something like this. And also noticing typical number six aluminum wire that's attached to the two-pole 50 amp circuit breaker. If you have an older home that has a three wire receptacle for the range, you may have a fuse box that looks something like this. The range circuit has a pull out fuse which actually contains two fuses and to turn off that circuit you simply pull out on that block that has the fuses and that will disconnect the power to the outlet circuit for the range. Okay, with the 50 amp circuit for the new homes, it includes a separate neutral wire and a separate ground wire, which is required for most all new ranges. But for the older homes, it only had a three wire circuit, total three wires, and there was a wire that was used for either the neutral or the ground, but it ran back to the main panel where the neutral and the ground wires are bonded together. And that's how those circuits were installed. Okay, and the difference between these two again is that for the older homes there is a three-prong outlet. For the newer homes there is a four-prong outlet. You'll notice that the connections for the three-prong outlet in the older homes is where you have two lines of power coming in. One connected on the left side, one connected on the right side. The difference between the two really doesn't make any difference. They're both lines of power that come in, but the difference is that between that and the ground is that the ground is attached to the center terminal on the outlet itself. The newer four wire hookups for the new ranges again has four prongs on the outlet surface itself. The connections to this four-prong, four-wire outlet for the newer ranges and the new range circuits is basically the same thing as the older 50 amp range circuits. It's just that there is a separate wire for the ground and a separate wire for the neutral. Both have their own specific terminal locations on the receptacle where they are located. The lines of power coming into this receptacle outlet for the range, again, we have the black on one side, the red on the other side. It really doesn't make any difference which one goes where. They are two separate lines of power, and as long as they're uh, attached to those terminals, that will give you the 240 volts. The neutral wire is attached to its own terminal, as you see here. Typically, this box for the 50 amp four wire range receptacle is a two gang box. So we have to curl these wires to get all four of those wires carefully into the electrical box. 
and then mount the range receptacle to the face of that box. Once this four wire range receptacle has been installed, we carefully put on the metal cover and we are done with that installation. And now we're gonna be getting into the cords. Okay, before getting into the cords, it's just a reminder to stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll show you how to get your own resource, free resource to help you wire it right and avoid the most common mistakes. Okay, we see again that the 50 amp cord for the newer homes is a four wire cord. It's a 120, 240 volt cord. And the range cord for the older homes is a three wire cord, 50 amp to 40 volt cord. When wiring these two cords, they're pretty much identical with one exception. There is a ground strap that is installed on the newer ranges. When a four wire cord is installed to the newer range, the ground strap is removed and the green ground wire of the cord is attached to the green grounding screw. We see here on a newer range where the ground strap is installed on the center terminal and it is attached with a green ground screw to the metal frame of the range. If you are wiring a new range that does require a separate neutral wire, then this ground strap must be removed. The neutral wire is attached to the center terminal and the ground wire is attached to the green ground screw. The ground wire from the four wire cord is attached to the green ground screw for the new ranges. The new ranges that require a separate neutral wire, the green ground is attached to the green grounding screw and the white neutral wire is attached to the center terminal. The red and the black wire from the range cord is attached to the opposite terminals, as you see, corresponding with the wires from the range itself, the red wire on the left, the black wire on the right. The cord wires are brought up into the terminal box well enough to where the cord connector can be applied and tightened down securely. And we double check our connections to make sure all the hardware is in place securely for the ground and the terminal connections for the rest of the cord wires. So the difference between the three wire hookup and the four wire hookup is that on the older ranges, it does not have a separate green ground screw. As we see here, there is just one terminal in the middle for the ground wire to be attached. So it's always the center wire on the cord that is attached to the center terminal post on the range. And we make sure that the cord connector at the base of this range is firmly fastened so that there is no play in the cord going in and out of the junction box area. And then we put on the cover plate onto the back of the range. And we carefully coil our range cord so that we can Put that into the range receptacle at the base of the range on the wall. Okay, be sure to visit us at asktheelectrician.com. Pick up your copy of the top 10 electrical mistakes and how to avoid them. And our free newsletter that goes out every week. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And be safe and be careful and have a great day.